Good morning. Actually, it's good afternoon now. Um, I'm starting a little bit late today due to a class I was in. This is Christine Howard, and I'm here with day 12 of moving forward while staying put. The intention of the series is to give you daily tips and wisdom and suggestions that support you in moving forward in your life, with your goals, with your projects during this time of such change and uncertainty and uh, a new world that is um, quickly developing and evolving for us. So my topic today, actually I want to start with a couple questions. The first question is, are you someone or how often do you not use your voice and do not ask for what you want and what you need? That's the first question. My second question is, how often do you not speak up to share a, your wisdom and insight or um, information with somebody that you feel could really use what, what you have to share? Let me tell you, I was one of those people several years ago who had so often wanted to say something, wanted to ask for help, and I just, I wouldn't do it. I would not ask for what I needed. And I was stuck in fear about how other people would respond. I felt like I wasn't supported or that I wouldn't be supported, so I just zipped my lip and I didn't ask. I did it myself and I spent a lot of time feeling um, unsupported and in, in struggle and self-doubt as a result of it. I've shifted out of that fortunately and I am, want to help you if you're feeling stuck and are not using your voice um, to support you right now to shift out of that. To move for, forward with your projects, with your goals, your ideas, and especially with making an impact at this time when there are so many people that can benefit from the wisdom and the support and the encouragement we have to offer and can benefit from the projects, the ideas that you are in the process of bringing to life, I want to encourage you to use your voice in two ways, two ways, I had one figure, two ways. So the first way to use your voice, to move your project forward right now is to speak up and ask for what you need, for what um, you need or what um, you desire. And how that looks is on your project. You don't have to be the Lone Ranger. I talked about this the other day. And um, if ask for, if you need somebody to review your idea, if you need somebody to, or need support in having um, some wisdom and expertise around a next step, go ahead and use your voice find those safe people find those encouraging people that are you feel will listen to you and will support you to give you um, um, to help you get that need met and use it now is the time there are so many people that are in the same situation where they are looking for somebody to um, they are looking for extra support so use my call to action on this first one is to look at your project what are those next action steps that you're working on and then contact somebody actually pick up the phone send an email send a text and say hey I could use some support here I'm wondering if you could um, jump on a call for 10 minutes I really could use some support in this next step so you need to advocate for yourself. Use your voice to help you move forward in that next step. Sound good? Then the second way you can use your voice to help you move forward is to actually reach out and connect with your circle of influence, with your tribe, um, in whatever project you're desiring to bring to life or in the middle of working on. It doesn't have to be completely finished for you to use your voice to make a positive difference. I know for me, I've got a lot of things that I am in the middle of, and if I waited till everything was all buttoned up and finished, I would it would be weeks. So I'm choosing now, in fact, this particular event here that I'm doing with you 
is one way that I can keep my projects moving forward by providing support to you, little nuggets. So the call to action on the second piece is to look at your project, look at the tribe that you are supporting. What is something that you can do today with an email, with a text, with a uh, Facebook Live, or something else with a phone call to reach out to your tribe and to say, hey, I, you know what? I thought of you. I have this little nugget of wisdom. I know you're going through this, and I just want to encourage you in this way. That will support you as well as support them to continue to move forward in the vision that you've created for your life and for your project for your business. Those are my two calls to action for you today. And the last one here um, is to really remember that your voice matters. Your voice matters no matter what. So I um, encourage you to continue to really step in with confidence and courage to use your voice first to speak up in ways um, for what you need and what you desire to support you to move forward with your vision. And then secondly, to use your voice to connect even more deeply with your audience, with your tribe, because your voice matters and they need you. Those are my tips for today, and I'm so grateful that you were here with me. I look forward to seeing you really soon. And please drop a comment in the box below on how I can support you to further move your message forward and your project forward. Um, I will be doing, and I'll post it in the comments also, I will be doing a um, free mastermind starting next Saturday, 11th, and it will be um, come one, come all. If you have a project idea you want to start, but you're stuck in overwhelm or confusion, or you're, you're stuck in um, even getting started, or where to go next because things have changed so much, join the mastermind. Let's um, get you moving forward, get you regrouped, and um, help it, helping you to be the light during this time that I know you can be. Thanks again for being here, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.